Good morning and welcome to our worship with the 53rd Avenue Church of Christ. We're so glad that you're here and joining us for worship this morning. Wherever you may be and, and, and however you may be getting together this morning, we are thankful that you're taking time to worship our Lord today. And so uh, as we gather virtually, we just again want to welcome you in. If this is your first time joining us, you are uh, more than welcome to join us. In fact, we're excited to announce again that next week Sunday, June 7th, we will be returning to worship here, uh, and we are hopeful that you will all join us. We do, of course, ask that uh, if you are a member here that you read the email that was sent out to all of our members uh, outlining some of the guidelines that we're going to follow as we return to worship. Our hope and prayer is that you'll follow those. That way we can do the most that we can do to ensure the safe assembling of the saints here at the 53rd Avenue uh, Church of Christ. And so we're excited about uh, that opportunity, and we can't wait to see you in person uh, in just a, just a week from now. Uh, as, as I have your attention, we do want to make a few announcements about some prayer requests that uh, we received. Uh, we ask that you play, pray for Angelo Di Tommaso. Uh, we were told that he has been admitted to Bay Pines VA Hospital. Um, his breathing has been worsening. We're told that his heart is still doing well, and that's great, but that his lungs are congested. Uh, thankfully, he uh, re received a, a negative COVID-19 test. Um, so this is something else that he's dealing with, uh, but it has been an ongoing issue and it appears to be worsening. So please, please pray for him uh, and for that family. Uh, in, in really great news, uh, we're pleased to announce that Sheena and Kyle Sink are expecting. Uh, and so we are uh, delighted for them. And of course, our, our prayer is for a safe pregnancy and a healthy baby and a healthy mama too. Uh, and so uh, please keep them in your prayers uh, in the coming days. As we uh, come to a close, I, I, I just uh, want to say how thankful I am that, that you've continued to, to tune in. It's been an encouragement uh, to all of us that have been here working on these videos. Uh, I'm thankful to all of the, the men who met us here at the building, uh, took time out of their day uh, to record with us. Uh, it's been sort of a a brave new world in terms of what we've been doing over the last few weeks and months. Uh, and I am certainly thankful for all the sacrifices that you all have made. Uh, and I look forward to the, the renewal of our, our fellowship in person in, in very short order. Let's have a, a prayer uh, as we enter into our time of worship together. Father Almighty God, we just thank you so much that, that you are the God that, that is with us. Where two or three are present, we know that our God is there. And, and what an amazing thing. Father, it's been so different for us over the last few months as we've been apart from one another. Um, as, as, as things have been weighing on us beyond that, as, as there's been fears for physical health, as there's been fear for economic well-being. Uh, and Father, I know that some of these things are not going away. While there may be some improvement, that those are going to be ongoing challenges for us and for this family. Father, but I am excited as well that, that we get the opportunity, hopefully, Father, safely to return together. Our prayer is that you would continue to watch over us in this time. Father, we, we pray as well that, that uh, again, that your name has continued to be glorified in, in the months that we haven't been together. Father, that we've been able to, to assemble maybe in spirit through other means, and, and we just uh, lift your name on high in, in the best way that we know how. Father, during this season, I think it's been a moment for us to, to step back and to think about the things which matter most. And Father, I hope and pray that, that this has been a season that people have been able to refocus their faith on you, to maybe slow down a little bit, and to reprioritize. Father, I hope and pray that our, our families have been able to grow closer together in their relationships uh, and in their relationship with you. But Father, as we look to the future, I, I hope and pray that you will bless us in an even greater way in the days to come. Father, uh, I know that we're mindful of, of Angelo as he's uh, really battling uh, severe illness with his, his lungs right now, and, and of course he's got ongoing challenges with his heart. And Father, I just pray that you would bring about healing for him, that you would watch over him and, and bring him a better portion of health. 
Father, we pray as well, uh, just a, a prayer of joy and thanksgiving for, for Sheena and Kyle, for their, their uh, pregnancy, for the, for the baby to come. Father, we pray for, for good health and safety during this time. And Father, uh, just continue to watch over them. Father, uh, we again just ask that you bless each and every one that worships this morning as we focus on praise, as we focus on your word, as we focus on the sacrifice of our Savior. Father, bless us in this time and glory to your name above all. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> 